Hola. Okay. My name is Sam. Good morning to you, or good evening, or middle of the night, if that's when you're watching this. Um, if you are following my videos, you know that I roll out of bed and I do these videos. So, no hair, no makeup. Well, I have hair, as you can see, but I don't do my hair, nor do I do makeup. I don't even brush my teeth. So if you were here, this would be more disgusting. Okay, today I'm going to cover two things. What the first one is more viewer comments, yeah. um, comments and input that I think has been cool from three different viewers. <laughs> the second is that I'm going to do another mean green makeover demo, but I'm going to do it with a twist because now I think we've had, uh, this is my fifth time juicing today and it's my sixth video. So we've, I think I've done the mean green or some variation of it um, three times or maybe four. Anyway, what I want to do today is the mean green with some changes that I'm making and also I want to do it as fast as I can. So it will probably be sans commentary, etc. But so the, I know these videos are kind of getting long and I'm not really good at editing them. So I thought, okay, instead of talking through the demonstration, I'm going to see how fast I can do it. And then the extra bonus challenge for me is to see if I can smile all the way through it. Because if you've been watching my videos, you have learned that I have this very serious, you know, unnecessarily serious face when I juice. And um, also it doesn't help with my double chin. <laughs> I've also learned. So that's the goal. As fast as I can whilst getting all the nutrients and smiling. Even if, it's a fake, even if it's a fake smile the whole time, whatever. It's just practice. I gotta learn how to not have that really like serious look of consternation. Okay, so the first viewer comment that I'm going to address is from someone named 305 Techno. <laughs> 305 Techno was the first comment, um, was the first comment? Uh, okay, anyway. No, because someone else was the first comment. Oh, 305 Techno was the first question that I got, which was cool, okay. So 305 Techno's deal is this, that he or she, I don't know if it's a guy or girl, is going to start juicing on Friday, which is tomorrow. And um, he or she was wondering if doing two months of the Mean Green would help them lose 30 pounds. So, and apparently also he or she broke her wrist and can't work out and apparently used to lift weights all the time and be in the gym all the time, but can't do that now. So they just sit around and eat and now need to lose 30 pounds. So here are my answers, 305 Techno. First of all, thanks for watching the videos. And thanks for even thinking that I might possibly or remotely have an answer for you that was decent. <laughs> so here's my best shot at it. If we were sitting in a room, this is what I would tell you. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I think that you should, if you haven't already, watch the documentary called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead by Joe Cross. I think I've referenced it multiple times in every single video, so sorry that it's a repeat. But... Um, I think that will help you see how he did it and what his goals were and all of that. Then, uh, and here's a couple things. It's free on Netflix. If you have Netflix, I think it's Instant View. You can buy it or rent it somewhere, I'm sure. Or you could try your library. They, they might have a free copy of it. It's really popular, so I would assume they have it because I'm down with free things. Okay, then after you watch that, what I would do is go to his reboot. I don't know if it's reboot.com or something. Just Google Joe Cross Reboot and you'll get it and take their evaluation and it asks you a bunch of questions and then based on what you tell it and what your goals are it will evaluate which program you should be on and they have you know a five-day program a 14-day or something and i'm sure one that would accommodate whatever your goals are so that would be my answer to you 305 techno thank you so much for asking the other thing is um i'd love for you to record it and just let me see how it's going or at least keep in touch and say what's going on and what you like about it and what you've learned and all that because this is a learning forum okay viewer two mary tamra and if you watched yesterday's video which was video five i think you know who she is so i'm not going to explain that again um but she was funny okay she's like well she is family so she can ask whatever she wants well, all of you can, just whether or not I'll answer, but I will always answer her. She asked how juicing was going, how it was going in my body, meaning what's going on in the bathroom is really what she was asking. So my answer last night when I got her um, question was, it's totally fine, everything's normal. I would never know that I was doing something different um, eating wise, except today my answer changed. And maybe you have figured out if you're following my videos that I'm kind of a full disclosure person. 
I'm not really trying to sugarcoat anything. So here's the deal. <laughs> This morning, when I went to the bathroom, uh, and I don't mean to be too graphic or too gross, but whatever, this is what we're here for, right? The best way I would describe what happened this morning is green cat poo. So that's weird. Um, so do what you will with that imagery. I, I hate to say this out loud, but I, I really do feel like I'm in a Saturday Night Live skit at all times. But the first thing I thought of was St. Patrick's Day poo. <laughs> And I hate cats. Sorry if you love them. Okay, so that was the end result this morning, uh, so to speak. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm not into puns either. Okay, viewer three, this is who it is and who, or what he said. Viewer three is Bruce from New Zealand. Brucey. Okay, so Bruce um, is actually a friend of mine. We met a long time ago, seven or eight years ago, at a mutual friend's wedding in California. And we stayed in touch ever since. In fact, I think about two years ago, I went to visit him in New Zealand. Which, side note, truly is one of the most beautiful places in the world that I've traveled to. And I feel like I've been to some really beautiful countries. But, um, wow, New Zealand is... It, it's almost stupid how beautiful it is. It's, it's almost maddening. You can't even fathom that something could be that beautiful. But it is. Okay, anyway. Bruce was the very first comment of any kind on my juicing videos, so thanks, Brucey. You're always a supporter. So he's also a guy after my own heart because he suggested that I make bigger batches and then freeze it so that it's less daily work. And why that's after my own heart is, as you know, I want the minimum effort for the maximum result. However, without getting too technical, mostly because I don't know how to because I don't know all the information, um, it's actually best to drink whatever you juice right away because uh, if you don't you'll lose a lot of the nutrients and i found a really good article on discountjuicers.com and backslash storing juices or you can google it however you want to and this is what they say the minute so this is quote the minute you juice fresh produce the cell walls of the produce break open providing you with these nutrients many of these nutrients are very sensitive to air heat light and time will cause their degeneration to get maximum benefits from the freshly made juice, don't save the juice. So the best thing to do is to drink the juice immediately after you make it. Instead of drinking, okay, I'll make a large batch once or twice a week. Think, I can wake up 30 minutes earlier to make a fresh batch of juice for breakfast and for the day. Uh, it definitely doesn't take me 30 minutes, FYI. End quote. Well, before my commentary. So, Brucey, great idea, and trust me, I wish I could do that, but I don't mind. I really am doing this more for the nutrients. So um, it's still uh, faster than cooking a meal. So I don't, I don't really mind. Okay, those are the three viewer questions, comments, hopes, dreams. Now what we're gonna do is the speed round because I'm gonna make the mean green. Hang on, I'm trying to get my time here. I'm gonna make the mean green with a makeover, you know, my own deal. Um, what I instead of taking more time in this video to tell you what the mean green is from Joe Cross You can either look that up on his uh, reboot website or go back to some of my other videos because I clearly lay out what the mean green menu is But today my modifications are I pretty much am almost out of kale. So I'm adding chard Can you see that I'm adding so kale on the back side and then there's chard in there and I'm adding two handfuls of spinach leaves which again remember all leafy greens um, get juiced on low. And then um, Tammy's suggestion, or Mary Tamara's suggestion was one less apple. So I'm only doing one apple. It normally calls for two. And then pretty much those are the makeovers, the modifications that I'm making. Okay, so now I'm going to time it <laughs> um, from the very beginning. Here we go. Ready? Start. Okay. And my goal is to smile. Okay, let's see if I can do it. The Smiling Juicer, is that my new name? <laughs> smiling, smiling. I don't want to do it too fast because I want all the nutrients. So even though it's a speed game, I'm still gonna. There goes that freaky lemon thing again. Smiling, still smiling. Kind of. <laughs> uh, 
don't mind though. Smile, smile. Oh, I seem to be getting more yield than yesterday, which is good. See, I can do commentary now while I'm waiting. Still smiling though. Still smiling. Smiling. And smiling. By the way, no one's ever here with me during these videos. There's no one standing in the background or anything. So, the level of entertaining myself that's going on is real. There's no one else here. I'm not playing off of anyone. I'm just that much of an idiot. Okay, so now I'm working on the spinach. I already did the chard and the kale. And I'm still smiling, right? Well, I don't know who I'm asking off camera. There's no one there. And I'm gonna try and ball up the spinach. Oh, that was a lot. Smiling, smiling. <laughs> Awkward smile. Awkward smile. I'm not pushing it down to the blade yet until I get every last piece of spinach in there. Smiling. There we go. Okay. See all the juice coming out? Oh. I want to say, ooh, that looks good. I mean, it actually really looks disgusting, but it's not disgusting in my mouth. In my mouth. Okay, go into high. We're at two minutes and 17 seconds so far for juicing. Which again, is still faster than making a meal. Cooking a meal, I mean. Smiling, <laughs> smiling. kind of pushing out hard. It's fighting me again. Woo! Oh, I forgot to smile. Blast! Because I really hope to one day get through an entire video where I don't look mean. That'll be the day. Okay, pushing down. There we go. Getting. And I'm also out of the shot, sorry. Pushing, pushing. Come on now. I'm trying to smile and push hard. Yeah, okay. And then one last thing of celery. Woo! I'm at 3 minutes 37 seconds. And stop. Three minutes, 41 seconds to make this. Okay. And today I did remember my spoon and my cup. Okay. You see that? Not as much separation. Well, there's some actually. And it made about just under 30 ounces today. And I have learned that it changes from juicing to juicing simply because content of the actual fruit or vegetable. So, I'm gonna stir it. Let's see how my uh, makeover went. I haven't done this one before with the chard and the spinach combo. Looks like I'll be drinking all of this this morning, so there will be none left over for lunch, which is fine. I'm flexible. Not, I don't know why I even put it up close to the camera because I don't think it really matters, but that's what it is. Here we go. Let's try it. Hmm. That's a little weird. It's not bad. How would I describe it? This is going to sound bizarro. Well, juicing's bizarro to me. But there's an aftertaste that <laughs> tastes like, and I'm not joking when I say this, uh, chow mein. That's weird. I don't know what is in here that tastes like anything in chow mein, except maybe the chives, but it's certainly not a very potent drink. Maybe I didn't use enough ginger. It's just really mild. Just mild chow mein. Ah. Okay. I'm going to drink this for breakfast and I'm going to conclude this video. 
So today was three minutes and 41 seconds to juice my breakfast and the cleanup will probably take about five minutes. The prep is really about a minute because I have all the stuff already in bags, so I just pull it out. So all in all, I would say this whole thing will take about 15 to 20 minutes depending upon how slow I go. And I'm gonna have to watch the videos back and see how much I did or didn't smile to see if I met that challenge today to smile through the whole juicing process. I'm guessing I didn't though, so that challenge will still remain until I defeat it. Okay, well, juice on, brothers and sisters. <laughs>